Okay, so you guys start with a light jog, knees up, whatever you're doing, even a forward lunge. Just get your body moving in a, in a couple of different actions. Um, and the first thing that we're gonna do is squat. So we'll, you keep warming up. We'll be doing traditional squats. The next set, and if you have your weight, your band on, it's gonna be above your knees the whole time. Uh, deadlifts, so we are gonna use weights. If you don't wanna use weights, don't worry about it. Our first set of eight exercises is all lower body. All right, then we have calf raises. So we don't do those too often, right? So you can have your weights down here or by your shoulders. If for any reason you can't raise up onto your calves, then just you know march in place and things like that. Alternating side lunges. So I'm just giving you a real quick um, show. Guys, swing your arms up and down. Just get some torso hinging as well. And um, then we have a sumo pulse squat. And the reason I'm showing you all this now, not because you're gonna remember it, but because we move quickly in between exercises. Um, a reverse lunge to a front lunge. It could be a front lunge to a reverse lunge. And we're going to do that on one side till I tell you not to do it on that side. Um, fire hydrants, that's where the floor work comes in. You're on your knees and you're gonna kick your leg out. And then a donkey kick on your knees, again, will be here kicking out, all right? That one's usually better on your feet, but we're not gonna have the time to really change it up. Or if you can, go for it. So I've got a handy dandy dimer, let's timer. Let's just take our shoulders, hands on our thighs and roll shoulders in and out. I'm gonna pull up my timer for you. You're gonna be oh so happy that I have this. <laughs> not. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, so it's good. Everybody mute. Yes, thank you, Maria. Everybody mute. Come back to center around your back, pull the belly in. And if you can't mute, I will mute you. Round your back again, pull your belly in. This time, take your hands, palms together, stretch the arms out in front of you. And then roll yourselves up, stand all the way up. So again, if you're using a watch, other, or, um, I mean, you could try high intensity, see how it works out for you, as long as you're clocking yourself up and over the other side. All right, so our first exercise is a squat. You choose where you wanna have the weight, on your hands, on your thighs, on your shoulders. We have 40 seconds of work with 10 seconds of recovery. Again, so that's what's gonna kind of make it more um, high intensity, is just the, the speed with which we're moving. If you have a band, wrap it around your thighs. Patrice, if it gets uncomfortable because those handles are gonna slam you a little bit, then just take the band off and um, even if you have a belt, sometimes that's good if it has a little stretch to it. I'm gonna have to sit down because I'm a little sticky. <laughs> this thing doesn't wanna go on. All right, so the band is above your knees, not on your knees, above your knees, or if you want, you can have it at your calves. Grab your weights, whatever weights, you're gonna be working with today. And remember, we are doing a lot of work in the lower body, so if you wanna keep them lighter for that time, that's fine. All right, we're gonna have a 10 second preparation. You might hear the buzzer go off, but I will know when it is on and off. All right, so grab your weights. You've got about five seconds until we start with squats. You're gonna squat till I tell you not to. Ready, go. You hear it, it sounds like a fire, a fire alarm. So squat down, you have options for your legs being close together, legs being further apart, legs being turned out, but we will be doing some sumos later. So I like to have a kind of a neutral position of my hip, chest is up. This gives us time to perfect our form because we've got 15 seconds remaining. You do get a few seconds in between. Our second exercise will be deadlifts, but you're gonna get there in about five seconds, you're gonna hear it go stop. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, if you're changing weights, good time to change weights. Next set is a deadlift. You're gonna come down and back up. Ready? Let's go. Bend the knees, head in line with the spine, drive through your heels. We have eight exercises, and we're going to repeat them twice. So the second time around, you're gonna have no problem knowing what we're doing. When you come down, don't look down. So keep your chest up, keep your head in line with your spine. So Mary, keep looking forward. Don't round your back. Drive through your heels. You got about 15 seconds remaining. Squeeze your butt. Chest out, hips back. You're good, guys. 
You only got about six more seconds. Then you get that rest. And we're gonna go to calf raises in three, two, one, rest. Good. So you can have your weights at your shoulders. Your feet are apart. You're just gonna lift up onto your toes. Ready? Go. On your toes. Now if you have the band, just put pressure against the outer edges of the bands, right? So you still keep some outer leg work going. Up on your toes, you can have your weights down here. If you're feeling really productive, you can have your weights in the air, right? So these are all up to you, right? And calf raises, because we don't do them enough, right, 15 seconds, they get tiring, right? Come all the way up, all the way down. We used to do them a whole lot more. Don't know why we took it out of our workout routine. Three seconds, two, one, good. Alternating side lunges. So I'm gonna step a little bit further away. We're gonna step right side, left side. Ready, go. So you may not get as far because of the band, or you may stretch it beyond its limits, <laughs> which you don't really wanna do. And we're just gonna reach down, step back. Step out, press through the heel of the leg that's bent. Right, so the leg that's bent is your work. That's it, 15 seconds. We have two more standing exercises and we're gonna take it to our knees. But you've got eight seconds remaining here. So 40 seconds can be either really long or short. And rest. Sumo pulse, turn your toes slightly out. Weights can be up, down. You can drop one and have it as a goblet. We're gonna come down, pulse, 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 pulse. If you get tired, stand up and come right back down to it. Now we're pulsing with our hips, not our torso, right? So keep your torso steady and just drop the hips an inch and up an inch, down up, down up. Good job, guys. Keep it going. Woo, you got 15 seconds. Our next exercise is gonna be that front and back lunge or back and front lunge. Last 10, almost there. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, right leg only, going forward or back and forward. Three, two, right leg only, go. Step back, step forward. Step back, step forward. Bend the knees, both on. Same leg, forward and back. Why just this leg? Because we have two sets, and next time we'll do the other leg. Yeah? 20 seconds. Whoops. Keep going. Don't look down. You might get dizzy. Look forward. That's it. From here, we're going onto our knees on the floor. You don't need weights. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Quickly grab your mat. Double it up if you think you need to for your knees. Right leg again. Hydrant, go. Up, down. Now, this may not be a fun place. Your left toes are tucked under. Go ahead. Just get there if you don't have the band on yet. I'll give you time in between sets to get it back on. Good. I can see it, 20 seconds. The next exercise is just a rear kick. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Uh, you're almost there. Three. Yep. Two. One. Rest. If you want to put the band quickly on the bottoms of your feet, go for it. I'm going to keep it where it is. In three seconds, we kick that right leg back behind you. And go. Kick. Kick. Extend the hip, the knee, and the ankle. Press. Press. Try not to lean your weight to the left side. Right. Try to keep your weight in both arms, even though one leg is off the floor. You got 20 seconds, guys. Then we get a short little break in between sides or in between sets, I believe. That's the way it should work. <laughs> Good. 
Last eight seconds. Three, two, one. Good. All right, come back up. We only have that 10 second break, sorry. It's the next time we get a longer break. Back to squats. Pick up your weights. Go. Squat. Squat. So maybe you change your leg position on this one. We're still driving through the heels. All the work is in the back of our legs, the butt. Not our back, not our lower back. Good, keep your head in line with your spine. Look forward, down at best, not up. You got 10 seconds remaining. After this, it's our deadlifts. Three, two, one, good. Recover, it's not a whole lot of recovery time, which is what makes this high intensity. All right, deadlifts are next, ready, go. Keep your head in line with your spine. Don't look down, look forward. Because when you look down, your back rounds. So we wanna keep our spine long. Good, but not hyperextending the neck. So we're gonna drop the chin a little bit. Drive through your heels. Good job, guys. Keep it going. Keep pressing through those heels. Don't round your shoulders, Mary. Good. This is a hard exercise to Conceptually even. You've got six seconds. And one. Good. Rest. Rest. Calf raises. Remember, they get tiring after a while. Go. On your toes and down. So you can go as fast or as slow as you want. You're on your toes, toe ball, heel to the floor. Again, you can put your weights at your shoulders, by your side. You don't have to have weights at all. Good. Keep it going. That's it. You've got 15 seconds of this. Good. That's it. Hang in there, guys, for five more seconds. We have alternating side lunges. Next, rest. All right, shake it out, stretch it out if you have time. I'm gonna to start to my left side this time, but it's left and right alternating. Go, step out, come back in. You don't have to use weights with this. I'm gonna get a little bit further. Stick your butt out, bend your knees. Good, that's it. Keep your head up, keep your chest up, 20 seconds. Mm-hmm, yeah, halfway through. After this set, we're done with legs. So you say bye-bye legs, kind of, sort of, maybe. Eight seconds. After this, we have that sumo pulse. Two and one. Good. Sumo pulse, you can put your waist down in between, but it is short. Turn your toes out. Ready? Come down. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So it's halfway up, down, halfway up, down. Now, if you get tired, stand up, go down. Do a couple of those in between, and then come on back down. Little pulses. Remember, the pulse is in the hip, not the back. So we're not doing this. Torso remains the same. Hips go up, down. 15 seconds. Woo. You do get 30 seconds after this round. We've got one more standing exercise before we go to the floor in five seconds. Four, three, two, and rest. All right, left leg, reverse lunge, forward lunge, left leg. In three, two, go. One, forward and back. So remember, bend both knees. After the next two exercises, you can also say goodbye to your band Aw, hate to see you go. So remember, we're on the left side only now, although both legs are working. 20 seconds. Yeah. Ah, do you feel it? Woo! You've got a quick 10 seconds after this, 
to get to the floor. All right? Three, two, one. Good. Quickly get to the floor. Bring your mat down. Come onto your hands and knees. You've got left side hydrants. Go. So trying to keep knee hip, knee ankle, same line. The right toes are tucked underneath you, right? So you have a little balance, a little action in the opposite glute. Good. Keep that head neutral in line. In 15 seconds, we get a short break for our final exercise, which is the donkey kick. Keep it going. Five seconds coming up. Three, two, one. Last time. Put the weight on your, or the band on your foot if you'd like to. Again, I'm going to stay here. You can also be on your forearms if you want to. Left leg again. Go. Kick back. Kick back. Kick back. Good. Squeeze your glutes. Belly in strong. 30 seconds remain. You got this, guys. You got this. After this, you're gonna flip this um, band off of you. You got 30 seconds to pick up some weights for biceps, rows, triceps. I don't have to show you. You can go right into it with me. There is nothing I don't think that you can't do that you don't know. But we will need a mat at some point as well. So keep your mat nearby. Four seconds, three, two, and one. Good, all right, quickly slip your band off. You can keep your knee, your mat nearby, as I will. And you're gonna start with rows, so big group, big muscles. But remember, you got it for 40 seconds worth. So, use, use whatever weight you think you can and adjust if you need to. The first exercise is now. Rows, bent over. Go. Pull the elbows by your side. Good. Head in line with your spine. If you need to modify, you could do one arm at a time. Elbows pull by your side. Head up, chest up, hips back. Squeeze it together. Good job, guys. Keep those elbows right by your rib cage. You got 15 seconds. Keep it going. I don't want to drop my weights on that. Last 10. Next exercise is an overhead tricep. You might want to use just one weight. Put one down. Stay heavy if you're using just one weight. We're going overhead. Elbows bend. Arms reach up to the sky. Ready? Go. Press up. Two, bend your knees. Tuck your tailbone. Elbows point forward. After this, we have a bicep curl. We all know them. We all love them, hate them. We like the way they look. We don't like the way they feel necessarily. Good. If this doesn't work for you, you might want to do a kickback. All right? One on each arm. You do one arm because we'll do the other arm on the other set if that's the route you're going. You've got 10 seconds. Now, your first set, you might go heavier and lighter on the second set. Who knows? Three, two, and one. Good. Wipe down, grab your weights for bicep curls, traditional curl. You can make them hammers. You can rotate, alternate arms. Ready? Go. Curl. Curl. Three. Four. Keep going. That's it. Try not to swing the arms behind your back to get them up. If that's the case, maybe it's too heavy. Yeah? And if you have light weights, just follow the resistance on the way down. Work against it. 15 seconds from here. After this, you're on your back. So you'll need your mat, or not, and heavy weights if you can, for chest press. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, come to your mat, grab your weights with you. You can have your legs in a bridge, or just be on your back, chest press. Go. Work. Work. So we're here. It's like a push up. Hips can be up. Legs can be up. 
press. Draw the belly to the spine, ribs down to your hips. Good. It's obviously repetitive, right? First set, maybe you're going lighter or heavier. You might say, oh, you know what? I could have gone heavier. And then you should do it. Five seconds coming up. You'll hear it. Three, two, one. Good. We have skull crushers. Either one arm or one weight. Actually, let's do one weight because we're going to pulse it. Arms up. Let's try this. Little pulses right here. Right here. Elbows don't move. My legs are coming up so my back is imprinted. Notice I'm not doing a full range of motion. I am just doing a pulse. Drawing my belly to my spine. Ribs down to my hips. Keep it going. Our next exercise is going to be a pullover. You can stick with the same one weight. Or if you're feeling energetic, you can go for two. Keep it going. Yeah, you got 10 seconds. Yeah, feel it. Woo! Three, two, one. Yes. All right. Let's take that pullover. After the pullovers, you're going to need a lightweight. I'm sorry, I should have told you that. Actually, no, not yet. All right, pullovers all the way over and back. All the way over and back. It's like I always think of the ride that you pull the bar down over you, right? Try to keep your spine nice and long, imprinted or neutral. You don't want to have that big arch. And it's just this, again, it's repetitive. Now it's shoulder movement. Before it was just elbow. You've got about 10 seconds remaining from here. Then we have flies. Flies are back to two arms. Then we're gonna go to a really light weight. All right, sit on up, get your weights. Flies. Three, two, one, go. Go slow on your way out. So I'm not giving you the count, right? And I like to have my legs up to help imprint my spine. I'm not giving you the count, but I'm gonna tell you go slower on the way out. You can go same slow on the way in or a little faster but don't go fast on the way down. If you have, in particular, a heavy weight. Keep it going. You guys are doing great. You're almost done. The last exercise is a lightweight standing up exercise. It's another bicep. Three, two, one. Quickly get up, get your light weight. Come on up to standing. It's a T-curl, all right, out shoulder height. Remember, your shoulders are tired. Go. Out in. Out in. Good. If you have to go lighter, if you're light and it's already too much, just use dynamic tension. Keep it going. Out in. We go right back to rows after this exercise. You got 20 seconds. So you see what I mean? It's not high intensity. In other words, we're not doing plyometrics. But we're moving quickly. That makes it a little bit more challenging intensity-wise. Maybe not, just different. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. All right, rest. you got a short rest. Back to your rows. Big muscle. Pick up your weights. Go. Work. Row. Work. Work. Good. After this, it's a one arm, one weight, excuse me, tricep curl, or tricep extension. Head in line with your spine. Pull those elbows by your side. Good job, guys, good. Squeeze, squeeze. Come on, it's Friday. You don't get me in a fitness class till Monday again, unless you choose to go on my YouTube channel. So work as hard as you can. You've got two days of rest. You can go to yoga, however. Three two, one. I'm going to drop one of my weights over his triceps. If you want to have a fitness class, let me know. Go. Extend. Work. Work. Go. Yeah. Woo. 
Now, will it make you happy if I tell you after this set you're on the floor? It may. Then again, it may not. Make sure that you're not arching back, that you're leaning slightly forward, or standing upright. 15 seconds coming up. We're back to two arms, two weights, coming up shortly. 10 seconds. You're almost there, guys. You got this. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. All right. I'm just taking this for later. Bicep curls. Hammers if you'd like. Go. Curl. Curl. That's it. Yeah. Remember the dynamic tension. If your weight in particular is light, work on the negatives. That means the way down, right? So slow and controlled. Up, slow and controlled. So a little bit more power on the way up, a little bit more time and control. After this, we're on the floor for chest press. You got 10 seconds. Yeah. So maybe you're counting your reps. Did you do the same as the last set? And one on the floor. Chest press. Come on down right away. No time to play. Chest press is like a push up. On your back, go. Option for your legs to be on the floor, in the air, or butt up in the air. Again, it's your choice. Yeah. Keep going. Press. Press. Pull the belly into the spine. Draw those ribs towards the hips. No big giant arch in your back. 15 seconds. Then we have the skull pressure pulse. So we're gonna use one weight, unless you feel confident that you're okay doing it with two weights. Two and one. Good. So we pulse it the whole time. We don't extend. Just like the sumo pulse. If you feel that you need to take a break, you come out straight. All right, go. Down, halfway, just little pulses. Again, my legs are in the air to imprint my spine. The shoulders don't move here. Just the elbows, as opposed to the next exercise, which is a pullover. And the shoulders move and the elbows don't. Good, you should feel this. You've got 15 seconds. Let me see where you're at. Some of you I can't see because you're on the floor. <laughs> Mary, I got you. Okay, six seconds. You can take the same single weight or add a weight to it for your pullovers. Your choice, where you want to be today. Rest. All right? So again, same legs, same feel. Arms up, elbows bent, and then from the shoulders, pull over and back. Pull over and back. The trick to this one, not so much with the arms, is the back. You really want to keep that spine long by drawing your ribs down towards your hips. Belly into your spine. So my elbows, if you notice, I'm not changing my elbow position, just my shoulder movement. You got 12 seconds. We go to flies after this. We have two more upper body exercises. The last one is gonna be a standing exercise. Three, two, and one. Good. Going back to two weights, chest flies. They're wide and slow on the outside, right? Slow going out, ready? And go. One. Bring it in. Squeeze your chest on the way in. Open. Release and squeeze. Open. Stretch the front of the chest and shoulders. Go slowly on your way out. A muscle stretch tends to have more power. So as we open, we stretch, and then we have that power to bring it in. Open. Pull it in. 15 seconds. And that's why we don't fly through exercises with momentum, unless told. Three seconds, two, and one. Good job, guys. Last time, go grab those lighter weights. Your lighter weights. Maybe they're too easy, too hard. Go. T-curl. Elbows in line with shoulders. 
those of you who are with me in the 80s, <laughs> we did a gajillion of these, right? That's it, 20 seconds. Nice and controlled. We've got 30 seconds after this, we're going to the floor. Keep a dumbbell nearby. Last five seconds coming up. Two and one. Good, down to the floor, guys. Grab what you need for weights, take your water with you. First exercise is a crunch, good old fashioned crunch. Then we have leg raises. Alternating V-ups. So we'll do here like that. My legs are bent, you can have them straight. And then um, we'll do heel taps, I'll show you. All right, so crunch. If you wanna wait on your chest or behind your head, let's crunch. Tilt your pelvis. Elbows point towards your knees. I'm using a weight behind my head. You don't have to. You can put it at your chest. If you have a plate, not a dinner plate, but a weighted plate, you can put that at your chest. You can also have it at your belly. It's not gonna do much, but keep your hips down. You choose. None is fine, by the way. 10 seconds. Now on your next exercise, we're gonna put this weight behind our head. Three, two, one. Now put it on the floor behind you. Let it act as an anchor as you lift and lower your legs, okay? Trying to keep your back imprinted. In three, two, go. So again, my knees are bent. I do have lower back issues. So if you too have lower back issues, bend your knees, A. B, you could do one leg at a time, all right? Our next exercise is um, slightly different than this ever so slightly, because this should be a straight leg, but my knees are gonna bend most of the time. Just six seconds. Good, so the next one, if you didn't do this, we're just gonna tap our toes to the floor, right? You can keep your arms where they are again, legs up, knees bent on this one, and tap up, tap, up. So again, my knees don't move. It's all out of my hips. My arms are holding onto the weight just to kind of, whoops, <laughs> it's holding onto my hair too. Uh, just to kind of secure myself, all right? So, out of, the, out of the hips, good. That's it, good. Good, Mary, I can see this. 10 seconds. After this, we're gonna go onto our forearms or leaning behind us. Three, two, one. Come on up. You're gonna do in, out, or you can be all the way down, in, out, or you can just um, extend one leg at a time. Ready? Go. Now, if you're like me, you might need to um, double up that mat because this kind of tucks like a tailbone, so you might need to do that. We're going to a plank with one weight next. The weight doesn't matter, just so you know. We're just gonna, well, it kind of matters. Um, we're gonna pull it through to the other side. 15 seconds. This is a lot of hip flexor, right? So if you start feeling the pressure here, you're right, you are. And you can be on your forearms to take away a little pressure. Three seconds, two, one, good. So your next exercise, you're in a plank with a weight. You're gonna pull the weight from one side to the other. So the arm that the weight's at is not the puller. So take one arm across, one arm across. You can be on your knee, knees, and do the same thing. So the arm, where the weight is, the opposite arm's gonna drag it through. Keep going. Um, I'm just trying to find a good place for myself. You might wanna be in a wider leg. My floor's really slippery. That's why I'm struggling here. So I might try it this way. Good. 10 seconds. After this, we're on our knees. 
Five seconds, four. Keep that same weight with you. Come up. You're gonna stay on your knees. If you need to, you can put one leg out or stand up. Wood chops from right shoulder to left hip. Go. Chop. Chop. Good, tuck your toes underneath you. Remember I said we're going to the ground and you're gonna say, oh good, or not? <laughs> that would be the or not probably. 20 seconds. Good. Same side, 10 seconds. Why? Because we do a second sad. And we get to do this all again on the other side. Three, two, one. Good. Sit up, all the way up. Touch your opposite toe, all right? Good, sit up, touch. Now, if you can't do a full sit up, do a crunch and opposite hand to foot. All right, so you choose. Reach across, reach across, go across. Good job. woo -wee. You don't have to do a ton of them, okay? Don't have to beat the clock. Just get as many reps in as you, as many good reps in as you can, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, we're back to our crunch. We're back to our crunch. Ready? Let's go. So my weight is behind my head. You can have your weight, by the way, you can have your legs up in the air, straight or bent, right? You can have your weight in your chest, over your chest, over your belly, no weight at all. Just keep your body going. You can do this. You're way more than halfway through this workout. So keep moving. You've got this. 10 seconds. I like to throw you a little curveball every couple of weeks just to see if you're paying attention. Three, two, and one. Good job, guys. All right, leg raise, arms behind you just to support you, and the legs are gonna come up and down. Now again, this is designed as a straight leg, but bend your knees if you need to. Go. Down, up. Good. So remember when you were younger and you used to hook yourself under your bed or your chest, your dresser, right? Good. This is challenging to keep your back, that's why my knees are bent, to keep your back kind of in neutral or imprinted. Mine won't do it, but some of yours probably can. Good, we've only got eight seconds. And rest. All right, alternating V up. That's the same leg. Ready? Go, so one leg. And again, if you cannot do a full sit up, all you're gonna do is lift one leg to the ceiling and reach your hands to it, right? If you can come all the way up, it's a little different than the last one we did. The last one we did, we kind of did a twist, a rotation. This one is straight on, same leg, same side. Keep it going for 10 seconds. Good job, guys. After this, we have heel taps. I might have skipped one of those earlier, so we'll see. All right, on your back. You can hold your weight again behind your head on the floor. Legs are coming up. We tap the toes, the knees are bent on this one. Go, tap, tap, good. Belly to spine, ribs to hips. Keep it moving. Again, this is hip movement, not knee. So we're not going here and here, right? It's touch, lift up. 20 seconds. Then we've got those kick outs. I'll give you a couple more options on them if I haven't already. 10 seconds. Good job, guys, girls, and guys out there. 
three, two, one. Good. All right. On your kick outs, you can do one leg, bring it in and out at a time. All right? Because this gets go. This gets intensive hip flexor. If you're strong and you want to play, take your hands off the floor. Right? So there's a lot of options for more advanced, more intermediate, or more beginner. And I don't mean beginner. I just mean the level you need to work at to accommodate your body. Right? Nobody here is a beginner. You've all been in this class for 30 some odd minutes already. Good. So the beginner status is gone. One leg at a time. That's another option. Yeah, you've been in this class for almost 40 minutes, so no beginners. All right, get your dumbbell. Plank. This is where I have trouble because my floor is really slippery today. One weight at your side. Plank or knee. So again, we are not picking it up. We're just kind of rolling it through. Rolling it through. Oops. Roll it through. Roll it through. Or you can pick it up. All right? So you choose which way you want to go with this. All right? If your floor is slippery like me, just have patience. Try to keep your legs wide so you don't wobble too much. I know I'm wobbling a little bit, but that's mostly because my feet are sliding. So I'll probably take it to my knees just because I'm not going to fight it again. All right? We're going to stay on our knees in three, two, one. Come on up. Wood chop, left shoulder to right hip. Ready? Go. Good. Tuck those toes. Good. Nothing. We're not really crunching down. We're just taking that weight and accelerating and decelerating so our core gets to fire up for 20 more seconds. Last 15. You got this, guys. I'm going to be really nice. Maybe. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good. On your back, sit up. Toe tap. This one is alternating opposite of arm to leg, or you're on your back. Get ready. Go. going. You got 20 seconds. Hang in there. Remember, you could be here. Nothing wrong with it. Or you're sitting all the way up. And rest. Good. We're going back to the initial crunches. So weight or no weight. We've got one more set here. Go. Not a set, just a set of crunches. Legs down, legs up, legs straight up, your choice. Head up off the floor. Breathe. Reach towards your feet, towards your knees, towards your wherever you can, towards the opposite side of the room. 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. I'm going to give you a short little round coming up. All right? So just listen carefully. It's going to be shorter than this round. You got five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Now, we all know. Okay. To bottom complete. To bottom complete. Okay. So we're going to start on our hands. We're going to do alternate knees. That's one set. Then we're going to do same knee. To elbow, that's another set. Then we're going to do a mountain climber. You can either go here or run it through. All right, so I'll, I'll gear you through this. Real short and sweet, okay? Let's go. Alternate knee, opposite knee to elbow. Listen carefully. I'm going to change the timing of this. So you've got 10 more seconds here. Then we go same knee, same arm. Get ready. 
Three, two, same knee, same arm, go. One, go, go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. I'm changing it up, guys. Three seconds, we're standing. Two, one, come on up. You're gonna squat, front kick alternating. All right, that's your next exercise. Get ready. Go. Squat, front kick, squat, front kick, squat, front kick. Yeah. After this, in 10 seconds, it's a jumping jack. I'll give you the options there. Jumping jacks, side taps, squats. Ready? Good, jumping jacks, go. Option, tap, tap, go. You got 10 seconds. Six, four, three, two, back on the floor. Hip bridges, hip bridges. We're almost done, all right? Wait on if you want. Go. All the way up. All the way up and down. We're going to keep hip bridging. The last exercise we're doing is a bridge with a kick. Right? In the air. You're almost there. You've got another five seconds of this. Three, two, one. Now add your kick. 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 Hips up, hips down. Good. In 15 seconds, you are done. That's it. Just a little burst of energy at the end. Let's see how much you have. In three, two, one, you're done. Stopping session. Yes, we are stopping session. Lay on your backs, hug your knees into your chest. Good job, guys. So we're gonna rock side to side. Just massage out our spine. And take your feet to the floor. Soles of the feet together, knees open, arms overhead, grab opposite elbows. So when we do this to be truly high intensity in terms of biometrics and stuff, it can be really tiring. So be um, thankful that we stuck it with just some upper body, lower body core work today. Good, now stretch your legs out in front of you. Stretch your arms over your head, reach in two directions. And then bring the right knee up to your chest. Interlace your fingers below the knee. Bring your knee on the outside of your rib cage. And then take a spinal twist over to the left side if you have your right leg in. Tomorrow yoga is at 9.30, Sunday is at 10.30. I hope to see any or, or all of you there. Come back to center. We're looking to take on perhaps a Tuesday 4.30 um, fitness class. If anybody can do that, I will send out announcements and we'll, we'll try to get a couple people in there. So you've got a figure four with your right leg bent. Draw your legs over to the right side and just let your left leg come down. Good stretch out of hip. So I like to, again, give you a little bit of a change every now and again, even though we do change every, every class. Come back to center. Hug your knees back to your chest one more time. Keep the right leg, oh, the left leg in, stretch the right leg out. And then draw the left leg across the body for a spinal twist. I'm just enjoying the fan on my body. <laughs> Come back to center. Right knee bends, left ankle crosses. Press that knee away. So you've got a nice figure four here. And then let the knees drop over to your left side, arms out. Nice, deeper spinal twist. And return yourself back to center. Hug both knees again to your chest. This time, round your spine. 
Rock and roll a little bit up and down until you come forward, standing bend, standing forward bend. Grab opposite elbows and just hang and sway a little side to side. And then make your way just hanging in the center. Release the arms and take them behind your back, palms together, knuckles up over you. And then slowly begin to bring yourself up to standing. Blow the shoulders back and around. Take a big breath in, bring your arms up. Grab your left wrist over to the right side. So you know, I know Lauren knows this, when you're, when you're done running and you need that last sprint, it's always nice to know that you can dig in a little deeper and grab it. So we kind of did that last four minutes together, just like that. Tuck the knuckles down, lift the chest up. And four minutes, by the way, you can't sprint for four minutes, but you can work hard. Bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, press it down. Big breath in all the way up. And give yourselves a great big hand. Thank you for coming. For my friends at home, stay home, stay fit, stay healthy.